So I'm living in L.A., man. People are really bugging me there. Every time my car gets dirty, someone writes, wash me on the side of it. Don't touch my car. Surely there's things you could be doing with your time that would be more productive. What do you think, huh? Okay. I finally found out who it is, my landlady. She's like 300 pounds. She's crouched behind my car. Watch me. I came up behind her and said, what are you doing? She goes, ah, you're not going to rape me, are you? I said, gee, I don't see how. <laughs> I don't know who I'm insulting. She goes, ah, well, your car's dirty. I said, well, you're fat. But I'm not carbon trim me on your stomach. And I wasn't. That's my point. I could have carved trim me on her stomach in retribution for drawing wash me on my car. But I didn't. Because you see, I'm a man of taste and decency. <laughs> Not one of the forlorn herds that roam this planet, lowing and baying in what passes as a language. Language is merely a tool to, to express ideas, and I think just a cursory glance at the world proves we're not speaking a language. Okay. What do you mean? Built a good world! We like it here! I know you do, you grazers. But I am the fox. I will tear your jugglers out and suck your blood and force. It's a new bit I'm working on, so it didn't, so it didn't have a punchline. You gotta bear with me, folks. Look, man, it's hit and miss, man. You throw it out, you try and tag it. <laughs> it is my job to make you stare at me like a dog that's just been shown a card trick, and I want to thank you for. I need to get laid more. So I'm from the U.S., you know, and I don't know what y'all think of the U.S., but I hate it. I love America. I hate Americans. And uh, that's the problem I have. America's filled with them. Filled with them. They're everywhere. You bump into them walking down the street. We're so puritanical and so phony, you know, this whole pornography issue in the States, right? You follow this pornography debate that we constantly have in the U.S.? No one knows what pornography is. Supreme Court says pornography is any act that has no artistic merit and causes sexual thoughts. That's their definition. No artistic merit causes sexual thought. Hmm. Sounds like every commercial on television, doesn't it? You know, when I see those two twins on that double mint commercial... I'm not thinking of gum. <laughs> you ever seen that Bush beer commercial? The girl in the short hot pants opens the beer bottle on her belt buckle, leaves it between her legs as it foams over her hand, and the voiceover goes, Get yourself a Bush. Hmm. You know what that looks like. I'll tell you the commercial they'd like to do if they could, and I guarantee you we might see this one day yet, because this is what they want to do. Here's the woman's face, beautiful. Camera pulls back, naked breast. Camera pulls back, she's totally naked, legs apart, two fingers right here, and it just says, drink Coke. I don't know the connection here, but god damn if Coke getting on my shopping list that week, huh? Uh, Dr. Pepper. Snickers satisfying. I'm buying these products. <laughs> 